You will know today there was some kind of a predator trying to break in and eat my birds. It was originally right here. Yeah, it was like this big jig. It went that way. It just literally slithered off. I freaked out. There's a tail. Get closer. Nuh -uh. Get closer. There's a, a vibrating tail. It's what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. And for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob, nice to meet you, and welcome to my jungle. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, well, you will know today there was some kind of a predator trying to break in and eat my birds. Luckily, my sister Hannah was there. She saw it, she called me over, and well, that is all I'm gonna tell you guys. So if you wanna see what the predator is, if we stopped him, where he is now, and what the the heck happened to my birds well guys you are in the right place and we're gonna hop right into that okay guys so Hannah just called me and said Jacob get over here to the Sun Conyers there's some kind of a red snake trying to break in Hannah you here all right Hannah's here Hannah tell me what's going on we're over here at the Sun Conyers you just called me what's What's going on? Oh, we got yeah, Theo Yeah, Theo is literally freaking out. He started making What did you see, noises. Theo? What I did was you just see? To give these birds enrichment. Wait, 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 wait. Let's start over. What was going on? No, I was literally just giving the birds enrichment, giving them branches so they can hide and just have fun with. And all of a sudden, Theo's freaking out. I looked down, there's a snake, and it ran into there. Jacob. Wait, so, so what did you see, the snake? It was originally right here. Like wait, wait, right here? But, but how long was it? I, it was like this big, Jacob. That big? I think. Wait, I don't wait, know. How, how thick around? I don't know. It had to be like this thick around. I, oh. I couldn't, I couldn't wait, get it. And, and you said it was red? Yes. I don't know if it's venomous. I don't know if it was trying to break in to get the birds because oh maybe it could swallow and, it. And wait, wait, where did, where did it go? It went that it way. It went that way. It just literally slithered off. I freaked out. So yeah, as, I, as soon as I saw him, the snake literally bolted down the tree and went that way. So I wait, had you, no... I think he could be in this pile. What yeah, you, that's okay. what I'm thinking. That he's taking shelter in there. Okay, hide. so there's a whole pile and you said... That Theo Jr. is the one that notified you of it, right? Yeah, he started freaking out, trying to get off of me, and I didn't realize until I Theo, looked up. You're a good protective monkey. So for those of you that don't know, monkeys actually have an inherent fear of snakes. So monkeys just know snakes are bad news, that snakes could eat them. So Theo, you did such a good job at finding the snake. What are you... Uh, uh, okay. Okay, Hannah, so first thing is first. We're gonna look for the snake, okay? Okay. But we have to make sure our birds are okay, right? Is, of I mean, course. I think that's what we should yes. do. So, here, Theo, why don't you go, yeah. or Hannah, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll hold Theo. The reason why we use this small wire is so snakes and rats and other animals cannot get into the birds because if this is what I think it is, a potential coral snake, coral snakes really don't get that big enough to eat this, so we could be dealing with a yellow rat snake, a red rat snake, Guys, who knows what we could be dealing with, but all we know is that there was a snake here. We are going to try to find that snake, but we want to check out our sun conures first. Now, these guys are actually a critically endangered species. Let's go to the front side and check them out. So these are our sun conures. So these, again, are a critically endangered species. There's only about 2,000 of them left in the wild. So we give them this natural enrichment. We give them palm fronds. They actually use it as branches, and they actually love to pull it apart. And today, we're giving them this little fruit snack thing. I give this to them, you know, a couple times a month, just as like an enrichment. Ah, we opened it on up. So this right here is our bird enrichment. Now, Theo, hold this package for me. Nope, you don't want to hold it. So the birds already know what this is right here. You can see they're all flocking to come to it. It's like one of their favorite enrichments. Theo was checking it out right here. Theo wants to eat it. Theo, you cannot have that. That is not for you. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this on up just right here. And I'm going to reach my hand in. And I'm going to hang this up right there. So as you guys can see, the sun conures are just enjoying their enrichment now. It looks like these guys right here are actually happy and healthy. So let's bring our camera on out. We want to close this on door on up. We just want to latch it on shut. But it looks like that. The, it looks like these guys are doing well. That they're eating their enrichment now. That is the exact sign that we wanted to see. Isn't that right, Hannah? Yes. Because if these birds were acting a little weird, then we know maybe the snake got to them. We have a snake potentially trying to eat our birds, so we have got to catch this snake, right, Hannah? Yes, we need to We need to figure out where it is right now. Yeah, guys, we have got to figure out where this snake is. Now, she said it went down up. She, she said it slithered down the tree over here, so my best guess is he, the snake's home is in this pile right here, right? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that, guys, but comment down below. Do you guys think we are going to find the culprit? Find the snake that was trying to eat my birds. I, I'm not sure. Finding a snake in this is like trying to find a needle in a haystack, so 
Who should go first? Who should start digging? Do you want to start moving branches? Uh, I think you should start first. Okay, so I'm going to look around here. I don't even know where to start. Do you know where we should start? No, I have no idea. Maybe it's this side. All right, maybe we should start moving some of these branches. So as you can see, there's all this leaf litter underneath here. And there definitely could be something underneath here. Now, let's take a look in here because, again, the snake is probably going to have some kind of a nook and cranny in here. A spot that it can hang out in. I mean, this is literally snake heaven. I mean, this snake could literally be anywhere. Hannah, why don't you get on this side just in case you see it okay, while we're digging help, through? Like, stuff yeah, up? yeah. So we're gonna just intricately lift this stuff up and see what we can find. Now we don't want to potentially crush the snake, but we just want to kind of move all of these branches out of the way, right here. Why don't you pull that one out? Wait, wait. I think I see something right here. You do? Snake. Well, I don't know. Can you see? Wait. What I saw right here, I saw this little, this little green part of this leaf. It's nothing. All right, so Hannah, why don't you just start digging this? I'm gonna keep an eye out right now. Okay. See what we can find. We're just gonna keep pulling all of this out. Again, we don't know what we're dealing with, guys. Comment down below. Are we dealing with a venomous snake or a non-venomous snake? Oh. We found coral snakes here before. My mom actually almost stepped on one uh, when I was out of town. So let's see. Let's take a look and find on out. We do live in a pretty rural part of South Florida, so let's kind of just move it this. It definitely has to be under like these. I mean, I think so, right? There's not many sticks left, so. Yeah, not many be sticks. Careful. I'm gonna be careful. We definitely, uh, wait, wait, maybe we should, it could be under this big branch right here, right? This, okay, wait, wait, wait. All right, you hold this, you hold okay. this, and I'm gonna lift this up. Let's see if we can find them. Okay, this is gonna be crazy. We're gonna lift this up in three, two, one. Is he there? I don't see anything. Oh, I, don't see anything I don't see anything. Now we just want to look right here because there could be other wildlife besides snakes in here. Now again, all this leaf litter is the perfect habitat for snakes. Not only snakes. Wait, wait, I got something. Look at this. Do you see this? It? It's an earthworm. Look at that. Oh we just found this crazy looking earthworm right here. So I'm going to actually hold on to him because this is a great box turtle snack. Guys, do you see that right there? What is it, Jacob? There's a tail. Get closer. Nuh -uh. Get closer. There's a, a vibrating <gasps> tail. It's a snake oh tail. It look, it's gosh. like it's rattling its tail like it's a rattlesnake. Okay. Oh There's gosh. a snake right here. Be careful. I'm trying to get bit. Okay, look. It could be look. Look. No, no, no. It's a red rat snake. Oh, really? Wait, wait. Yeah, I got him. I <gasps> caught him. Ha <laughs> ha. Look. There's his head. His head is this wait, way. Wait, wait, wait. Look, look, look. Oh, 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 he just tried to bite me. Or he not, not tried to. He just bit me. Oh, oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. He's All right, to get away. so let me just move this right here. Oh, okay. Here, I'll hold the branch. Well, you hold the branch, hold the branch, hold the branch. Uh, okay. Ah, is this the snake you saw? Yes, it has That's to him. Be. Gorgeous red rat snake. And this is one of many native snakes that we have here in South Florida. Just an absolute beauty right here. He's flickering his tongue and is, oh, is he nice? I think he's pretty nice right now. Now, he had tried to bite, but. There's a tick on him right here. Oh, a big, not big, but miniature sized tick. So this must have been the snake that Theo saw. So Theo, you want to see the snake? Be Look. careful, Theo, so Look. scary. There's the snake, so no, we scary. can't. You just gotta be nice to the snake, be nice and gentle. But guys, we are dealing with a serious issue. This snake has a tick and we've gotta pull it off. As you can see, there's this tick right here, a tiny micro tick that is latched on and is sucking the blood from this snake. So we've got to help this guy right here. So look at this tick right here. Now you're going to get close. Now I'm just going to put both fingers on it just like that. I'm going to put both fingers. I'm just going to slowly one, two, pull them off. As you can Goodness. see right here, we have this tick in my hand. Now this tick is not healthy for any animals. Now let's let our rat snake go on down right now. And let's, we're going to take our tick right here. And we're just going to kind of come right there into the rock. Look at the snake, Theo. He's your friend. Gentle. Be nice to the snake. Be nice and kind. Now, Theo, we just want to teach Theo to be gentle with the snake. We don't want to hurt him. We don't want to bite him. You want to look? Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering, does this hurt right here? Not at all. This is just like a tiny little pinch from a snake. So, I'm sure you guys are wondering, what in the heck are we going to be doing with this crazy snake? Well, guys, I want him here, so we're going to go release him. So, now the moment you guys have been waiting for, we're going to be releasing the red rat snake into this tree. Now, the reason why they call them, again, the, the rat snake is because one of their favorite treats is is a rat. Now this Arika palm cluster actually is loaded with rats. I see them in here every night. So let's bring them right over here, right here to the tree, right up high. And as you can see, he's just going to kind of scale the branches right here and just work his way on up just like that. 
the red rat snake is released and this is where he's going to live. This is where he's gonna live out his life eating rats. And well, that's gonna end today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video, saving my birds from getting eaten by the rat snake. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of this snake. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet to me, you wanna see more of these rescues, you wanna see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. Well, all you guys have to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.